Aloha and welcome to my channel. I'm Brad Wardle, call sign Captain Wingnut from Cougar Ridge Ranch, high in the Uinta Mountains of Eastern Utah. And this video is a look back in time for me to the days when we built our raised garden. Now the place that we call home is in Major Rock, Shale Rock. In fact, this is what it looks like just below my feet. Lots and lots of layers of shale rock and some of it is right on the surface like it was in this garden. So to make a garden, we had to decide how we we're going to deal with this rock. And rather than trying to literally make tons and tons of garden soil, I have a video on making garden soil, you can watch that, or buy enough to pile it up two feet, just two feet over this large area, we thought we'd take a page from the raised gardening theory and make raised garden beds. So our beds are four feet wide and anywhere from four feet long to 25 feet long. And oh, by the way, Thanks in advance for doing this. It helps me a lot if you'll subscribe to my channel. Click the subscribe button, click the thumbs up button, and the bell icon, and never miss a minute of the drama on Cougar Ridge Ranch. All right, enough of this. Let's get on with showing you how I built these garden boxes. Welcome back. So the first thing we had to do was figure out where we were going to put our garden. We wanted a big garden and uh, we had the room up here up on the mountain and so we leveled it with the tractor. We had a couple of dead trees in here about where that little uh, dining fly is to uh, take out and uh, leveled it up. It still has quite a bit of a slope to it, about uh, 8 inches in 50 feet from left to right. But uh, we got it as level as we could. We had to haul in a lot of dirt and put on top of the rock and just for walking. Anyway, then we um, had to uh, line out where we wanted the planter boxes to go. And then we dug trenches and put the PVC water pipe in. And then we got it all fenced in with a seven foot high fence to keep the elk and the deer out. And uh, then we got our boysenberries here straight in front of us planted and our raspberries off to the right. And then it was time to put the planter boxes in. We have uh, this trench that we uh, dug around because the uh, monsoon rains and the spring rains that come off of the mountain here to our left try to flood everything. So we have to make a ditch uh, across and down through the garden uh, to protect everything. But we need a bridge so we're making a bridge here to uh, be able to drive the tractor and the wheelbarrows and wagons and anything else that we might need to get in or out of the garden so the railroad ties are all in and now we are uh, filling my dad's filling in the dirt around them so that it's all smooth and they're packed in tight ready to go so now we're jumping ahead. Uh, I've got two planter boxes built and you can see the PVC water pipes sticking up there. We got the gravel in and ready to go around them. And I'm uh, gonna move on and make some more. Dad's taking a little siesta while I do some filming. Jumping ahead, uh, got uh, four more boxes built and filled with dirt. I'm gonna show you how I make the dirt because uh, we don't have uh, topsoil up here. It's just rocky, sandy uh, soil and I had to make all the dirt for all of these planter beds. And now we've got eight boxes built and filled with dirt that we had to make. And uh, we're making the last box now and we're gonna show you a little more in depth of what I went through to build these boxes. So I got these planks from a local lumber yard. It's before I built my sawmill. Watch my uh, video on building the sawmill. And uh, I had to square them up and, and get them ready and make some square notches to join them together because this baby's uh, 25 feet long and they didn't have planks that long. So I uh, did the joining and drilled some holes through them and uh, put them up, set them up and uh, pounded rebar, uh, three feet of rebar down through each one so it was down into the ground right where it hit the rock and uh, that's how I secured them down so that they wouldn't move and also ended up in later putting uh, uh, T fence posts into the ground, drilling into the rock and putting T fence posts in because uh, the dirt wants to push it out but I had to make the dirt and uh, start filling them. This is the planter box next to it. It's already filled and we've been planting the garden. 
And we got it all treated. Look for my other video for uh, treating wood. And we got them stained and ready to go. So here's the garden up to this point. Uh, we've been working nearly all summer to get these things built. So we've been planting the garden as we go. And uh, we get it uh, in. There's the raspberries. There's some tree starts that we've got going and uh, tomatoes and other things but we're gonna have to start making the dirt for this last planter and I'm gonna show you what we do we uh, set it up and and put plastic down inside of it we don't put it uh, all the way across the bottom we just leave an open hole and line the sides then uh, we st I start sifting the the regular local dirt here to get the rocks and the debris out so I've just got the powdered dirt and uh, once I've got the powdered dirt then I mix it with peat moss and all the other accoutrements that need to go into it. You can watch some of my other videos on making garden soil. But uh, there it is. That's what it looks like as it's uh, going in and, and uh, being put down. And then we put uh, road base gravel down around everything just to make it kind of look nursery-ish. And uh, I thought it looked pretty good. So there you have it. There's the planter box next to it with all of its stuff growing and uh, we've got uh, lots of things coming up we started it was uh, really cold and uh, we're still in april here and it's uh it has the potential to get cold and and so we have to cover things that's why we've got all the little hoops up right now but you can see that planter box is half full and here's the stuff in the uh, golf cart getting ready to go up and get planted in the garden of course we got to have a nice gate because uh, the ladies they have to have nice things so there's a piece of shade cloth over some of our plants and you can see that it's kind of looking a little glim and dark and dreary and uh, it was gonna get cold so we had to cover everything up and that's just the way that it's been here it can get we can get snow in May so uh, we're uh, doing really good now we've progressed clear up to the end of the garden and they're all built the dirt's all made and there it is well that's it thanks in advance if you've already subscribed it really helps me a lot learn and keep learning as if you were to live forever do create build and live as if you'll die tomorrow well it's time to put the chairs in the wagon and skedaddle and up the trail partner Remember, your fences need to be horse-high, pig-tight, and bull-strong. Looking forward to hearing about your successes building your own raised planter beds in the comments. And be sure to watch my other videos in the garden, like building a gazebo where this little picnic cover is, and the DIY high tunnel greenhouses, where I finally build high tunnel greenhouses right over these N4 planter boxes. All right, keep your eyes up, your feet down, and your butt in the saddle. Adios, partners. Thanks so much for watching.